everybody, this is Ride Cheer Lisa coming back to you with another video today. Um, I just wanted to um, touch upon um, everybody who is driving up north um, or in the very cold states. I mean, I just pumped my gas and my nose is frozen. Um, so, I mean, it's 10 degrees here, but uh, with the wind chill, it's got to be below zero. Um, I never check to see what the weather actually feels like because I know it's like 10 or 20 degrees colder than what the actual temperature is. Just by going outside and having a red nose, dry fingers, you can already tell that the temperature is cold. So, um, but when it drops down below freezing, um, usually it's in the teens most likely, but usually before before freezing, um, you want to make sure that everything is covered. You're all zipped, um, you have a hat, you have earmuffs, you have gloves. You want to make sure that you don't um, uh, watch out for that hypothermia. Um, another thing that people um, do not do or do, which they're not supposed to do, is um, they rub their hands together um, when it's cold. You know, you rub your hands together, you rub your hands on your arms to stay, you know, warm. Um, that actually, when it is super cold like that, um, the blood in your hands actually freeze. And when you do that, you're just taking those ice chips that are already in your hands and you're just moving them around and they can actually start cutting nerves. So you never ever want to just rub your hands like this uh, when it's cold. And you never want to put them under hot water. It's always got to be lukewarm water. Um, putting them under your armpits because your body temperature is at a steady 98.6 temperature. Um, Putting your, that's what I do. I always had my kids do that. If they were that they were cold when they came in the house, put your hands under your armpits. Um, so that way, you know, you can warm your hands naturally. Um, if you're going to put them under water, make sure it's lukewarm water, not hot water, not cold water. It's got to be lukewarm water. Um, a lot of times people will do stuff like that and it will come back worse. And making it better um, also um, I have uh, my gas cap like I said I just filled up with gas because I'm doing my Instacart ship now um, when things are frozen people tend to put hot water to melt things and it will not melt it will actually just freeze so you do not want to um, you do not want to um, hot water around the elements of your car, whether it be your door jam, whether it be um, the little door to open up for your, um, your, to put the gas in for your gas tank. Lukewarm water, always. And make sure that you start your car. Even though they say you only need to start it because nowadays with electronics in the car, you only need to start your car for like 30 seconds to a minute. You really don't need to warm it up like we used to in the day. Warm it up, turn on your defrosters, and warm up the car. So that way it will circulate in the car and you will um, melt the ice off the door hinges the back door um, or your hatch whatever even like the trunks because a lot of um, uh, cars have the folding down seats and you can get to access to the trunk so you want to warm up your car as much as possible and get all that ice melted um, so you want to do it naturally turn on all the heaters turn on the defrosters um, and before you leave just make sure all your doors are working Especially if you're doing Uber and Lyft, you do not want to come across that you warmed up all your, your, your car, you did everything you're supposed to, um, and then you get to the customer and they can't get in the door. Because you didn't check the door jams to make sure they at least don't open and close. You want to just open and close, open and close. I did that last winter. I actually came across the customer and they couldn't get into my car. 
and I was so embarrassed. It was terrible. So I, they say I had them sit in the front seat, which I don't normally do, but I had them sit in the front seat. I was so embarrassed. Thank God, thank goodness, there was only one person, and I, I explained, oh, I just got in the car. It was cold, and I'm sorry. You know, people are forgiving, but you know, I mean, you know that you warmed up your car. You know that you did all this that you're supposed to. And so now you're embarrassed just only because the fact that you did all you're supposed to do. So definitely um, check your door jams. Check your doors. Make sure they all open and close. Make sure that um, if you have that little door um, to get um, uh, fuel, if you have any, if you don't need the fuel, at least make sure it's opening and closing because you do not want to. Um, to a gas station and it be frozen and then you're sitting there you know banging on it and yelling and screaming because it's locked or because it's frozen and shut um, just make sure while you're defrosting your car that you just check that check all the anything that will open in the when it's cold out um, just make sure it's all set um, so but yeah this is right sure Lisa just um, these quick reminders um, Gloves, hat, uh, earmuffs, whatever you have, remember, and, you know, keep yourself safe, especially in the winter. I know I'm in New York, in upstate New York, and it hasn't been that bad um, of a winter, and now we're getting killed. We got snow last weekend. Um, some places got 16 inches. Uh, Red Creek. Thank goodness we only got 13 here in Syracuse, but um, now it's getting cold and it's, uh, the freezing temperatures are coming in, um, the rain's coming in, which is making everybody's morning commute a little uh, slow because of the black ice. Um, so even though we had a great uh, winter and we were really happy about it, we're getting it now. Um, I'm not even traveling um, to Western New York next past couple of weekends just because it's it's too cold I don't want to be away from home if anything happens to my car I want to be able to take it right straight to a mechanic you know I don't want to be stuck in a hotel room and then worry about how I'm going to um triple is going to um tow my car back to Syracuse so I can see a mechanic if anything happens so definitely just keep keep an eye out on it keep um just make sure that um, you're just paying attention and everything's okay. Um, all right. So this is Right Your Lisa saying goodbye. Everybody have a nice, safe weekend. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope everybody has uh, a safe holiday. And if everybody's out there making some money, um, especially for dinner time when everybody gets out of work and people are buying their loved ones dinner and bringing them in, we're going to be delivering a lot of meals tonight. Make sure that you have sanitizer. Make sure you keep your hands washed and clean. Um, uh, presentable because you know that you're delivering a Valentine's dinner. So you don't want to be there in your t-shirt and shorts and, you know, I don't know. Just look. Don't You don't have to dress up. Just look casual. You know, like, you know. Happy Valentine's Day to you and your loved one, you know, so. All right, well, this is Ride Chill Lisa saying goodbye because I'm going to make this video longer than it needs to be if I keep talking. And just keep yourself safe. Bye-bye.